All right, now we've got the Galaxy S22 Ultra on the right hand side and the Galaxy S23 Ultra on the left hand side. And both these phones are currently running on One UI 6.0 beta. Now, all the features which we got on the S23 Ultra on the One UI 6.0 beta have arrived on the S22 Ultra, except for a couple of features which I would like to discuss in this video. Now, if you look at the members application, let me just open members app on both the phones. I'll tap on the notifications here and I'll open the first beta that we have received. I'll open it on the S23 Ultra and here we have got the beta, first beta software update on the S22 Ultra. Uh, as you can see, uh, the version numbers are different, of course, for different phones. And uh, if you look at the feature list here, the change log here, we have got more or less all the features which we have received on the S23 Ultra on the S22 Ultra. Now, if we go to the camera department here, let me just uh, go to camera here. You can see we have quality optimization here. And then we have got new auto FPS settings for videos, which is uh, not here on the S22 Ultra. We have got this turn off swipe up down to switch camera. We have got the same here, but in between we have got this new option mentioned here, the new feature mentioned here, new auto FPS settings for videos, which is not showing up on the change log on the S22 Ultra. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to camera application. I'll tap on settings here. When we scroll down, we have got the auto FPS toggle here on the S22 Ultra. It is not that it is not available at all. We have the auto FPS option, but when you look at the S23 Ultra, we can tap on this auto FPS option to select a few uh, options here. You can see we can completely turn it off as we can turn it off on the S22 Ultra as well. Uh, then we have got two options here, use for 30 FPS videos only or use for 30 FPS and 60 FPS videos. So we can use auto FPS uh, to get a brighter videos uh, either on 30 FPS or on both 30 FPS and 60 FPS videos on the S23 Ultra. Whereas on the S22 Ultra, we just have auto FPS toggle here. We can turn it on or turn it off it just says record brighter videos in low light conditions by automatically optimizing the frame rate in video mode we don't have these options on the s22 ultra that is something which is missing and there is something else which is missing on the s22 ultra's camera application is under uh, advanced video options let me tap on advanced video options here you can see this is the same old menu we had even before the one ui 6.0 update uh, whereas on the s23 ultra we have got video format hebc high efficiency videos or h.264 most compact compatible video option which is not available here on the S22 Ultra. We just have high efficiency videos uh, and then we have got this high bitrate videos which is also there on the S23 Ultra. Then we have HDR plus videos. We have got HDR plus videos here which is mentioned as labs. For some reason this has been turned off for now. Uh, even if I turn on these toggles, uh, the HDR 10 plus videos are not appearing here. So I believe that this labs option have been uh, disabled on the S22 Ultra. Uh, then we have got zoom in mic option. Zoom in mic option we have got here. Then we have got this brand new option here 360 audio recording uh, capture immersive 3d sound through your bluetooth headphones with 360 audio recording so if your bluetooth headphone is capable of recording 360 audio we will be able to use it on the s23 ultra whereas on the s22 ultra we don't have this option i'm not sure whether these are uh, the hardware limitations on the s22 ultra uh, for some reason these features are not showing up on this particular phone now if it is hardware limitation it's all right but if it is deliberate by samsung if they're not pushing these options for the uh, previous gen phone then that is really bad now this we have seen in the past samsung don't release all the features which we get on the latest samsung galaxy uh, flagships samsung does cut a couple of major features on the predecessors that is a bummer on the samsung galaxy phone now apart from this we have got all the features available this time which is good if I go to the change log here again, you can see more or less all the features are available. You can see the gallery features, photo editor, we've got uh, the studio and uh, we've got Samsung Health. If I compare uh, these two uh, phones side by side, the change log on these two phones side by side, uh, I can see every feature is made available on the uh, S22 Ultra this time, except for a couple of camera features. And if you have found any features which are missing on the S22 Ultra, do let me know in the comment section. Now, as far as the S22 Ultra is concerned, the One UI 6.0 beta is pretty stable on this device as compared to the uh, first beta we got on the S23 Ultra. And now the S23 Ultra is already on a uh, beta 3 or beta 4. Uh, but this one is the first beta we have got and uh, since this has been tested already on the S23 Ultra Samsung would have stabilized the first beta on the S22 Ultra so this is running pretty well here and there there are some minor bugs but no major issues as such if you're wondering whether to install it or not I would suggest you to go ahead and install but do back up your data from your phone on Samsung Cloud you get unlimited storage on Samsung Cloud for 30 days which I've already mentioned in my previous videos go ahead uh, do that upload the uh, contents on the Samsung Cloud and then install 
install the beta version on your S22 Ultra. Now I'm yet to make a complete video on the One UI 6.0 features on the S22 Ultra, but these are the same features which are on the S23 Ultra and I have already posted a video. I will leave a link for that in the description. So if you want to know all the major as well as minor features which we have got on the S22 Ultra, you can check out that video. I made two separate videos. One video talks about the major features and the second video talks about all the minor unnoticed features on the One UI 6.0. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and uh, give this video a like if you find it useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.